Jammu Links News Top Stories is brought to you by Dawa Khana Rihari Chungi Jammu. Normal life was on Tuesday crippled as shops and business establishments were closed and traffic was off the road in the Kashmir Valley due to a strike called by separatists on the death anniversaries of Mirway Molvi Muhammad Farooq and Abdul Ghani Lone. People's Democratic Party Chief Mehbooba Mufti on Tuesday lashed out at the dubious exit polls result which predicts that the National Democratic Party will form the government at the center again. In a hard-hitting tweet, she wrote that the dubious exit polls followed by manipulating EVMs is another bala code in the making. The former chief minister of Jammu and Kashmir also questioned the election commission's stance on evidence that EVMs were switched during the poll process. Two policemen from Jammu and Kashmir have scaled the Mount Everest, police said on Tuesday. Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh greeted the policemen for their achievement. The state police said State Governor Satyapal Malik, Chief Secretary BVR Subramaniam and State DGP Dilbagh Singh have congratulated selection grade constables Nazir Ahmed and Falial Singh for successfully scaling the Mount Everest. Amidst exit polls predicting a comfortable victory for the BJP-led NDA, Congress General Secretary in charge of UP East Priyanka Gandhi Vadra sent an audio recording to her party workers urging them not to believe in the survey. The exit polls on television channels on Monday projected that the BJP-led NDA will retain power at the center again. With an aim to provide injury-free journey to the pilgrims, the Sri Mata Vaishno Devi Shrine Board on Tuesday introduced safety gadgets for pony riders performing pilgrimage from Katra Town to Bhavan, situated in Trikuta Hills of Katra Town in Riyasi district of Jammu and Kashmir. To have safety-free journey, especially for those who are performing pilgrimage by ponies, the Shrine Board introduced helmets, knee and elbow guards to prevent injuries, Simrandeep Singh, Chief Executive Officer of the Shrine Board said. <laughs> Governor Satyapal Malik Chairman Sri Amarnath Ji Shrine Board chaired a high-level meeting to review important security-related matters with regard to the Sri Amarnath Ji Yatra which is scheduled to commence on 1st July 2019 from both the Baltal and Pehlgam routes. <laughs> Jammu and Kashmir Congress President G. A. Meer on Tuesday asserted that the exit polls should not to be believed and that the United Progressive Alliance would have the majority in the Lok Sabha polls. He said, wait for the results on May 23rd, the UPA would have the majority and all these exit polls will be proved wrong. <laughs> PHE employs United Front conductor Gherao of Chief Engineer Office, PHE Department Jammu today for adopting delaying tactics regarding the regularization of casual and other workers. The workers demanded release of all pending earned wages of workers for the last 55 months and quick solution for all other issues. An under construction bridge at Uj River in Jammu and Kashmir's Katwa district is nearing completion and locals are hailing the progress of the project. According to authorities, the bridge is nearing completion and is likely to be thrown open for public use before the onset of the monsoon season. Describing Rajiv Gandhi as a man of great conviction and a visionary, JNK Pradesh Congress Committee today paid glowing tributes to the former Prime Minister on his 28th death anniversary. A Congress spokesperson said that JKPCC organized a function at Jammu Party headquarters to pay tributes to the former Prime Minister in which Congress legislators, office bearers and senior party leaders participated and paid floral tributes to Rajiv Gandhi. River berating with the verses of Holy Quran, the shrine of Saint Hazrat Mir Sayyid Hussain Andarabi, located in the Muran village of Pulwama, became the abode of peace and tranquility as people cutting across religious lines came to attend the Urs of Holy Saint. Devotees offered special prayers to the saint and prayed for the fulfillment of their wishes. District Development Commissioner Doda Dr. Sagar Dattatre Doifode, along with other officers, had an extensive inspection of Doda Town today, including main market and bus stand. He visited various wards and interacted with the residents, discussing their problems. 
Shuhul Hyundai Jomo based dealership of Hyundai on Tuesday unveiled one of the most awaited products of the year, the Hyundai Venue subcompact SUV. The venue made its global debut last month in India as well as the US and will be taking on a number of offerings. At its launch, the venue has been introduced in a total of 13 variants including 5 diesel and 8 petrol variants across 4 trim levels. The venue will be Hyundai's first model in India to offer in-house developed 7-speed and an automatic gearbox with DCT technology.